What's up guys, it's Jay back again with Tech Everything. And today we are kicking off the show where you get to show me your small form factor PCs. First of all, I wanna thank everyone for submitting. There were way, way more submissions than I thought there were gonna be. Definitely gonna to have to do a, a bunch of episodes of these and keep it going in the future. If you still wanna submit, you can follow the link below for submissions, but let's not waste any more time. I have five really cool systems for you guys to check out today. So let's get started. Up first, we have Francois all the way from Montreal, Canada. He has done a classic Nintendo conversion. Inside you will see a server board as well as an i5 2510E, 500 gigabyte hard drive, two gigs of RAM, and an EVGA 750Ti super clock. The total cost of the system with used parts came to only $160, making it an awesome 720p living room gaming system. He uses it to play the Dolphin emulator, some Steam and Blizzard games on his 720p TV. Up next we have a nice red and black themed gaming build from JC. He put it all in a Silverstone Milo case. Internally you will find the ASRock Vitality Z170 ITX board as well as an i5-6600K, always a great choice for gaming. 16 gigs of DDR4-3000 Corsair Vengeance RAM in red. The Gigabyte GTX 1060 Windforce OC in red and black as well. The Corsair SF450 with the sleeved nice modular cables. Two Samsung A50 Evos, one 250 gig and one 500 gig. For cooling, he's using the Cryorig C7 and he tied the whole look together with some nice tech red LEDs from Silverstone, and he also used red carbon fiber vinyl wrap. He uses the case for LAN parties and traveling between Mexico and California, making the Silverstone Milo a great choice because it has a handle. You know, you can just throw it in your car, in your bag, whatever you want to do, it's not too big. Great build, great rig. Up next, we have a case that I used for my very first small form factor build and YouTube video, the Wesena ITX 5B. This is a submission from Damon Osborne. He put together a nice little Hackintosh for the living room. Inside, you'll find an Intel Core i3-6100 and a gigabyte motherboard, eight gigs of RAM, the Noctua NHL9i, which is always great, and a noise blocker, Silent Pro 92 millimeter fan as well as a Pico 160 XT, always a good option. And for storage, he went with the Samsung SM951 M.2 drive. For graphics, he has a GTX 750 Ti, which he has retrofitted with the EVGA 730 cooler, which is brilliant. Great job and a great little system. Next up, we have Paras, AKA Stumbler on the smallformfactor.net forums. He's rocking an S4 Mini. Come on guys, you knew I was gonna get an S4 Mini in here. A nice new brushed aluminum S4 Mini. It looks really clean and awesome. Internally, he's got the Cabby Lake 7700 as well as the Z270i ROG Strix board from ASUS. For storage, he has a one terabyte Samsung 960 Evo, and for RAM, he has the G-Skill Ripjaw DDR4-3200 set. His GPU is an EVGA GTX 1060 Super Clock, and he's powering the whole thing with an HPlex 300 with the custom pink cables. Now, normally, I probably wouldn't like pink, but I think with the silver, the black, and the pink, it actually all ties itself together. And for his cooler, he is rocking the Thermaltake Engine 27, which is beautiful when it's paired with the brushed aluminum and just makes everything look really neat. He also has the LEDs to tie the whole build together, which I think looks really nice with the pink button and the pink LEDs inside and pink cables. And finally, the last build of the day comes from Jonas. He is rocking a Silverstone Sugo SG13 case. And where do I begin with this guy? He's done a complete overhaul, essentially, of the Sugo SG13. He modded the front plate, he modded the back plate, and he modded the side plates. He also added his own Arduino controller that controls his fans and displays the fan temperatures on the front of the case. It's pretty amazing. He even added his own housing to his graphics card. Internally, he's rocking an i5-4460 with the MSI H81i Mini ATX motherboard, eight gigs of Corsair RAM, and it's a Samsung 850 Evo Pro, a 200 gigabyte Mac store drive, and an MSI GTX 1060 2 gigabyte gaming. It's powering the whole thing with a Sharkoon 450 watt SFX PSU. 
This build in a lot of ways sums up what the small farm factory community is about. You build a machine that does exactly what you need it to do. There's not a lot of excess wasted space. There's not a lot of excess wasted components. He didn't put a 980 in there or a 1080 when he could get by with the GTX 1060. I think this is a great looking build with the LEDs and the front plate. I think he did an awesome job. So that's going to wrap up episode one. Thanks for submitting again, everyone who submitted. If you want to submit still for future episodes, I'll drop a link below for that. There's also a full article on the website with everyone's build, including more pictures and the write up from the actual builders, you know, explaining what their system is and how they use it and stuff, cool stuff like that. So if you want to check that out, I'll drop a link for that below as well. So let me know what you guys thought about this in the comments and hopefully you liked it and we can do more in the future. So as always guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you liked the video. I'm Jay, this is Tech Everything, and I'll see you next time.